Have you ever wondered if the people in your life are real? Do they exist? Are they playing a part? Or have I made them up? Is your reality even real? And if you think the answer to all of these questions is yes, how do you know for sure? What evidence do you, I, or any of us have that everyone in your life is real? Number 3. The Truman Show Delusion If you've ever suspected that everyone in your life is an actor playing a part, then you have suffered the Truman Show Delusion. This grandiose perception of your own importance is named after the 1998 movie of the same name, where Jim Carrey's character somehow lives obliviously inside a reality TV show for several decades without being caught touching himself. Every person Truman has met, loved, or been related to is played by an actor. The world he knows is a scripted reality series with his achievements, failures, hopes, and dreams decided on his behalf by the show's creator. This movie has led some people to develop a psychological condition which convinces them that they too live in a fictional reality, leading them to check their surroundings for hidden cameras, act out of character to surprise viewers, and even go so far as to visit the scenes of major news events to make sure they really happened. One patient even had to visit the site of Ground Zero in the days after 9-11 to prove to himself it wasn't a piece of footage generated for his own storyline. The situation itself seems to prove that the Truman Show delusion is nothing more than that. A delusion. But how might it work if it were true? Obviously, the creation of the Truman Show movie would be a perfect double bluff. But what else would your world consist of? Would it be computer-generated? Or would you exist in one giant movie lot, as Truman did? Also, how would the producers keep you from knowing the truth? If someone came up to you now and said your reality was false, would you entertain this thought for more than a second? No. You'd have to see the errors in the world firsthand to believe it. Otherwise, you'd be an insane, gullible moron. Because let's face it, in The Matrix, Neo listened to Trinity's ramblings because she was a hot chick running around in a cat suit. <laughs> if Trinity were a 20 stone red pill neckbeard in a Cheeto stained plaid shirt, Neo just laughs in his face and the Matrix is five minutes long. But even if you could explain away all of that, there still remains the question of why. Why are you so interesting that the whole world was created just for you? Well, maybe it wasn't. Perhaps the world existed before you. And it will still exist when you're gone. Because there's another reason why everyone in your life might be an actor. Number 2. Pronoia When things aren't going so well, it's easy to develop paranoia and convince yourself the whole world is conspiring against you. If you're rejected by your crush, a guy cuts you off in traffic, and a dog pees on your leg all in the same day, you might believe they're working in cahoots to ruin your life. But there's a flip side to this feeling called pronoia. And if you have this, you believe the entire world is involved in a conspiracy to make your life awesome. If someone gives you too much change at the store, they did it deliberately to help you. When that perfect job opportunity comes on the day you were thinking about quitting, this is the world pushing you in the right direction. Even negative events like getting pooped on by a bird or being shot in the face can be spun into something positive by a paranoid person. But is this mere fantasy? Or could it be reality? Sometimes people do conspire to do you or others harm. So why can't the opposite happen as well? This implies that conscious thought would be involved in making your life successful. With everyone around you acting deliberately in your interests for some grand purpose or reason. So what if these good deeds are subliminal? What if pronoia and paranoia are real? What if, as a society, we're collectively able to detect those who will do our race harm and those who will do us good? 
and we use this mysterious power to shift the world in or against their favor. This idea may not be as crazy as it sounds, because the existence of a human hive mind has been suggested by mainstream scientists before. And if it does exist, chronoid behavior might extend beyond mere humanity. The conditions on Earth and in our solar system are suspiciously perfect. So might the world, the universe, and all of reality have been created just for us to exist? Have the stars literally aligned in our favor? Or alternatively, have they aligned specifically in your favor? And at number one, solipsism. Solipsism is the belief that there's only one thing in the world, the universe, and reality which you can be certain exists, your mind. You can't be certain your body exists, because we know the brain can be manipulated into experiencing false sensations. You also can't be sure that the world exists for the same reason, and the existence of other minds cannot be proven because there's no way for you to detect someone else's consciousness through non-physical means. Some solipsists take this idea further, concluding that since nothing outside of your mind can be verified, then nothing but your mind exists, period. They believe that the universe and its contents are the mental creations of consciousness, and that without their minds to experience them, these things simply don't exist. Incredibly, this idea has a basis within physics as we know that certain quantum events only occur when they are being observed. The extent of the correlation between the mind and matter is not yet known, but many physicists are certain that it is there, and it has huge significance. Sir James Jeans was quoted on this subject saying that, the stream of knowledge is heading towards a non-mechanical reality. The universe begins to look more like a great thought than a great machine. Mind no longer appears to be an accidental intruder into the realm of matter. We ought rather hail it as the creator and governor of the realm of matter. Pretty mind-blowing, right? Everything in the universe is an actor under your control, including planets and stars themselves. Does this mean a solipsism follower is arrogant? If you believe you're the creator of all things, wouldn't you develop a god complex? Apparently not. Most solipsists take the view that since everyone in their reality is a construct of their own mind, they should probably be nice to themselves and act with decency. That kind of makes sense, as does the idea that we can't control these mental actors properly because our minds are trained to believe in their existence. Some developmental psychologists believe that all humans are born solipsistic, but that we become convinced that others exist after sharing certain experiences with them. So maybe our primitive form of consciousness needs to develop before we can control the reality we've each created? Perhaps one day we will be able to control matter with our minds and shape the universe to our every whim. And who knows? Eventually, we might be able to truly connect with the minds of others and prove once and for all that someone else exists. And if we could do this, how would you feel if you discovered that everyone in the world is an actor, but you're playing all the parts? We're going to explore this concept in our bonus video, The Egg, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this, and indeed all of our bonus content which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then it's cool, we still love you, and we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions, as you'll find out by watching our recent video investigating the most horrifying theories of human existence.